Hello, I'd like to welcome and welcome back to Two Storm Burning Retribution. We're going today to head in the clouds. Wait, did that stenchy breeze? Man, that's a terrible chapter name. This breeze is most foul in odor. The aroma of this wind is nothing short of negative. But not stenchy breeze. That sounds like something they'd say in an advertisement to promote one of their, oh look, this, sp this stuff makes everything smell so nice. We call it the anti stenchy breeze. Don't forget, kids, you can't pass over the... Man, this takes a bit of focus. Just to get back in the game, you know. Because it's EA, it's not in the game. It's only on this special DLC, which comes with an online pass, for which you first have to pay for the unlockable DLC. Man, your business model is just consistent out of taking everything that was originally in the game, and then just making it its own content. Like, how is that even fair business? That's literally like giving someone a bicycle, but not including the wheels or the steer. I hate how that beam continues to exist even when the device itself's long dead. Might I say this is terrible level design simply because of how it functions? Like, on a pure platonic level, all these things getting in the way is a bad idea. Fine, I'll go with the storm spread. Like, most of my weapons are forward anyway, so I might as well go with something that has a bit of... ...inertia to it, so to speak. Oh, the beams. Oh, the beams. Dear God, those multipliers. I'm not that hurt, actually. There's all sorts of wacky things I keep bumping into over there. I don't know what that is. I wonder if anyone's annoyed by the fact that I keep consistently uploading things that are over 20 minutes long. Like, is that a problem? Are there people that, like, can't watch 20-minute videos? Because if that's so, I'll try to edit my videos in smaller portions. I'll still do the same length recording sessions, but it will just be two individual videos. I know that's kind of skimming the issue, but you know... I like sitting down and actually playing the game and absorbing its essences. Oh no! All the beams! All the beams! Oh, it's one of those fuckers. Oh cool, free stuff. No shit, Sherlock. Gotta be careful, there's an elevator, and don't forget you take fall damage because this game is fucking dumb. Why would floating tanks of all things take fall damage? Look at my score. I've never gotten a score this high. 
Although, truth be told, I don't remember to playing any of this in my original playthrough. So this is all kind of new to me, too. What? oh Forgot about him. What? uh uh oh I still think that's so cool that like you can just bend off beams like that. I was hoping to hit him, but it seems that was not going to be the case. All those repair rays are getting in the way. Fuck you, repair What the hell did I do to deserve this guy popping out of the blues? Nobody told me that was an exploding thing. Nobody told me that was an exploding thing. Nobody told me that was an exploding thing. Oh god, it's the portal! That means we're in a bit of a hook, nanny. objective complete because I'm sure pretty sure there's no bonus objectives this level man that was a tough fight it was a, it was a tense fight for me at least I don't know why they give you health pickups this late in the level all things considered because you probably won't get here but Oh man, I missed that whole section up there. Next mission. Well, this is a pretty nice, uh, straightforward level, it seems. But I'm sure that these shields are going to provide us with the barriers that any decent level design demands. Okay, so we got a few pickups already set up. That's always good to have. I want to do a bit of a, a few quick start guides to uh, Cube World, because Cube World is a game that I found very confusing on my first playthrough. So I think it would only be polite to provide a few quick start guides for people that don't know what the hell the game is. Because it's a little bit less like, oh, you get levels, like a little less conventional than what most people might be used to these days. God damn it! I pressed the button for the laser and I didn't get my laser. I'm very surprised it didn't die that last level, by the way. I had lives, but I wasn't going to give them up, so I went for the best shots and made them. Shh. 
god, no. Oh god. See, that repair rate is just like, once he has a target, he like fires regardless of what you do. There you are. Fucker. See, that thing is just strange now it explodes. Hey man, I want my blue. There's nothing here, there's just a tank. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. Can't always get the fun stuff. Well, you'd also get this rocket if you want it. Not that I care. I'm perfectly fine with the setup I have right now. Oh, boom. Oh, boom. Oh, boom. Oh, boom. You're not gonna get me now, Mr. Thunderbolt. Fucker. Might I say one thing, though, is that the screen shaking in this game is incredibly disruptive. Which, I guess on one end, is like a very good thing because it adds a sense of realism. Because in real battle, like, shaking around would really throw your aim off, but... For the purposes of a game that isn't exactly the pinnacle of realism... It's not a very good element to have in it, like, like the way that it's... Really, that's it? It's this exit? Oh, no, it's a teleporter. I thought it was the exit, but it doesn't have that little exit sign. Remember, kids, if there's no exit sign, it's not the exit. There's something down there, it seems, and I probably want to investigate. You know, give it a little look-see. Give my good old blinky blinks a good look. My stomach is growling. I don't need to even know. Oh man, there's just all the stuff that I could ever want. Just right here. Although there's absolutely nothing in these crates for some reason. It's like, look at all these crates, there's nothing in them. Oh, we got a little energy spasitron. I wonder what it'll do. Oh, we have to go back to that teleporter, it seems. That seems to be like the... Uh, oh, there's something here? Oh, just forgot to remove it. Sure, remove that from my map because I know it's open. Repair array. Like, do I even have an accent with the R? Like, I like to think that I do. Because in Dutch, yeah, it's like. There's like a growl to it. And that just makes me think that my very loose and sloppy English R is like completely off target. Because if I have to be honest, a lot of people say, you speak English like a professional. But that's mostly because Dutch people have like the sloppiest way of speaking English. You think Mexicans are bad? Like, Dutch people will like l put their own language as like the forefront of how they're going to speak. I think that's with every language, but... You always like to think your own language is like worse at another language if you're very good at it. Not this time, fucker. But he for some reason drove right into them. Apparently was in for a festive tour. Oh, that's goddamn cool. The missiles actually have a momentum to them. Where is it at? Where's that fucking repair rate? Go down, you fucker. Look, I'd give up a life just to kill those fuckers. Because they're so annoying and I don't love them. If I'd ever marry one, I'd probably get a divorce in the first 50 seconds. It's like, no questions asked. I 
I like to imagine that sometimes these force fields are just imaginary. They're just like put into the heads of displays so that you complete your mission before leaving. Like they're very concerned that you're just gonna ditch your mission and go home. So they're like, oh, there's this force field that's not really there. You can't go through it unless you do your mission. Oh, those were commanding you. Great. Mission complete. Gotta go over there, and there's like a... Ah, I got you. This looks like a fun level. Yeah, but we're gonna do this next time. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, yes. That is... That is a secondary objective for me complete. That's always good. If I didn't, um, you probably want to leave this video, not look at anything on my channel, and just look up someone else. There's bound to be something interesting for you out there. In the meantime, I'm going to destroy this, despite the fact that I'm not going to record after this, so it's pretty much just me filling up time. So, maybe I'll see you next time, maybe I won't. Maybe you're going to follow my advice and look up another channel. Or maybe you won't. Maybe you're just going to stick around and be an asshole about it. Because if you actually like this stuff, might I, might I suggest visiting a psychiatrist? Because obviously your lack of taste and nuance is just not healthy. You probably want to see a, a physician too to get yourself sterilized because someone with a taste for my material is the kind of man we don't want any more of than we already have. You know, just saying. Insulting your fan base, the first step to becoming famous.